<laughs> Welcome to the Daily Business Tips Podcast, your source for lead generation, sales techniques, keeping your customers happy, tips for increasing profit and productivity hacks. Learn new strategies that you can start implementing in your business today. Please welcome your host, Ben Futrell. We've just uh, rolled over into the new financial year, so I want to say to you, happy financial year. And today's tip is about how to make sure you get the most out of the new financial year, because I think a lot of people in business get to this point and may have been pretty motivated at the beginning of the year, because it's fairly typical that the the calendar new year is a time to reflect and to really reset and uh, you know and to come up with with new ideas, put a plan together, get excited, get motivated, and really you know get inspired to get into the new year. I think that the financial year, however, is a bit of a drag. And I think, you know, you've got to get all your financials together. You've got to get your tax return done, all of that stuff. So what I wanted to do today was talk about how you can get the most out of the fact that it is a new financial year and what are some of the things that you can do, particularly as a business owner, to make sure that you're maximizing your results in the next financial year, because that's what it's all about. So let's start with my five tips. Tip number one. Uh, Check your budget versus actual to see how you went in the last six to 12 months. Now, this is really important and maybe you you are and you are budgeting, but I'd say if you haven't been budgeting, I'd say now is a good time to start. You should have a budget. But what you've got to look for when you check your budget, it's a high level, right? This is not down to every single expense line or anything like that. I'm talking about the high level stuff. Check your sales income. Was it what you said you wanted to achieve? Check your, uh, you know, your cost of goods sold or your cost of sales, and how did that affect your gross profitability? Are you buying uh, your product or service at the best possible price you can? Uh, you know, maybe you could go to other suppliers. You know, have a look at those numbers and see how they're going, um, which will, like I said, affect your gross profitability. Have a look at your fixed expenses overall and say, "Am I happy with that?" And and have a quick run through all the different line items. Just just a quick, you know, fly the eye over them and just see if there's anything there that stands out. So, is there an expense that you went, "Geez, that's a bit more than I expected," or uh, are there uh, areas where you can improve or things that you think you can make more efficient and uh, make more cost effective for you. I think that's a really important thing. And then the most important thing to be checking is what did I budget for profit wise and what did I actually achieve? Because let's face it, you're in business to make money. And I think uh, a lot of business owners don't stop to have a look at profitability and make sure that they are maximizing their profitability. So check out your profitability and, and just check, see how you went. Now, if you look at your budget and you didn't go as well as you'd planned, then you probably need to make some changes either to your activity and your actions uh, because they didn't equal the results that you're after, or you need to change the results that you're after. Maybe you're aiming too high. Maybe you're being too optimistic. Tip number two, uh, make sure you spend time setting a new budget for the 2016-2017 year uh, and adding any corrections from last financial year from any of the learnings that you might have had. So, you know, I've sort of covered it in, in tip one, but tip two is not not just to review the past, but make sure you're now looking at the future and you're resetting your targets for the next year. Um, I'm a calendar year planner, so I typically don't do my plans for the next calendar year uh, until you know November, roughly, you know, October, November. But if you're a financial year planner, which most people are, um, I won't say most, that's, I, I don't know, but I think most people are, then you might want to think about making sure you've got a budget for the next year. If you were really motivated last year and you put one together, make sure you keep that motivation and that drive going to do it again because uh, you, know, you don't want to go without having your plan in place. Uh, tip number three um, if something is not working, stop it. You know, you've probably heard that saying before that winners never quit and quitters never win. I think that's rubbish. I think winners quit what's not working so they can work on what is. And so I'm going to say to you as a business, if you've got something that's not working, stop it. If you've got a new product that's not selling or a new idea that's your baby that you're in love with, but it's not working, stop it. If you've got an employee that's not working, stop them. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. If something's not working, you've got to change tact, you know, and I think there's a a saying that I love, which is if nothing changes, nothing changes. So you've got to make sure that for you to be effective, you need to uh, ensure that you're doing the things that are going to give you the results you want to achieve your goal. So if it's not working, just stop it. Don't be afraid to quit. I believe winners do quit. And uh, that saying is a dumb saying. Tip number four, uh, make sure you set goals and targets for the next year and have an action plan for the next 90 days. And make sure that you let your team know what you're aiming for so you can work on reaching them together. So you know now that you're through that last financial year, 
Don't reflect too much on it. Don't get bogged down if it wasn't a great year. Reset your goals for the next 12 months. Put together an action plan for the next 90 days so you're really focusing on what you're going to achieve in the next quarter. And then make sure your team know what you're aiming for because that way as a team you can achieve these things together. Now your team may be a a team of employees that you have or it could be your life partner like your spouse um, your husband or wife, it could be um, your accountant, a, a bookkeeper, uh, a friend that you meet with on a regular basis, your business coach. Just let everyone know what it is you're aiming to achieve so then they can share that enthusiasm with you. I think that's important. And then number five is uh, if you and your team smashed your goals last year, make sure you celebrate. And what that means is that you've got to get out there and celebrate. Make sure that um, you don't go without celebrating your wins. I think it's really important that if you have had a good year, and you have smashed your goals that you that you celebrate. It's silly to go without celebrating, it really is. Uh, and, you know, it could be a simple lunch. It could be just high-fiving each other with some loud music in the office. Whatever it is you do to celebrate, make sure you do it. If you are enjoying the podcast, a couple of things you could do for me. Number one, go to dbtpodcast.com and join the DBT tribe. Uh, that way you'll never miss an episode or a special offer. We just make special offers out to our tribe members only, uh, typically from our sponsors. And the second thing to do is go into the uh, iTunes store or whatever app it is you use to listen to this podcast and leave a review or rating. We'd love to to hear from you as to how you're enjoying the show and uh, you know what, what changes, if any. But if you are enjoying it, please leave your review and rating and we'll uh – uh, we'll we'll talk to you then. All right. Every single episode, I like to finish off with a uh, a quote, and today is going to be no different. Uh, and this one was by President Abraham Lincoln. He said, "Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power." So true. Once again, thanks so much for joining for, for the daily business tip. This was daily business tip number twenty-two. See you tomorrow. Until then, have a profitable day.